do this. So you don't love those suicidal sods. I don't really have issues with deers where I live, so I don't have to worry about it. But I feel bad for Mike, so yeah, instead of doing Katawa Shoujo, we're gonna do the first episode of this. Now here's the fun part. People on YouTube isn't get it, aren't gonna get this, other than porters, until they hit 100,000 subscribers. Huh. So what do you, what difficulty do you guys want to go? Chad, easy. Fuck yeah. Okay. Should we be male or female? You usually do male for everything, right? It's dumb. We'll do female. I don't think we've done one with female. What difficulty? Since I know there's a delay. Average? <laughs> Fucking this is gonna be painful for me to watch. Let alone play. You guys want average? Okay. Enjoy it, guys. Why are you torturing yourself? Because you people want to see According this stupid thing. According to game. legends passed down from ages long past, an era of darkness and destruction draws near. Deep within the endless sea of stars stirs an ancient evil forgotten by time shut up I did I hit it this time the Nymphu Jin spirits of limitless lechery lying dormant in the cosmos awoken only once every 10,000 years by a cosmic super period of unspeakable PMS With symptoms so severe, and desires so destructive. Entire galaxies have been consumed by the chaos. It is said that only a hero of unparalleled prowess can overcome the insatiable lust of the demonic pair and return them peacefully to a satisfied slumber. As the dreaded day looms upon an unsuspecting world, no such savior has risen to stand against the threat, and Earth is left defenseless against certain doom. Wait, actually, I might know somebody. Lady, I just want to go on vacation and go to a better game. I'm going to piss somebody off with that joke. Thanks, babe. I really needed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet you are, you animal. Listen, I'd love to stick around and chat, but I got split. I have a crazy early flight tomorrow. My boss is sending me out to some island for an exotic shoot. Then I'm supposed to meet up with this Teleuber chick for a cross promo we've been planning. Ah, <sighs> it's not easy being a world class fashion model, you know? <clears throat> Think that's hard? Try me in the world class pleaser of women. I can't argue with you there. You do know your way around a vag. And, uh, well. A couple of other places. <clears throat> now, where did you throw my clothes? Ah, there they are. Well, aren't you at least gonna walk me back to my car? 
Oh, yes, your majesty. That would be my honor. I shall carry your belongings, too. Oh, God. Forget you, lady. Last time I asked you for anything. Later, sweet cheeks. Keep that thing nice and wet for me for when I get back. Well, 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 look at this little hoe bag. I leave you alone for a year or two, and you're banging models on the reg? <sighs> I really am a miracle worker. I'm in the fourth girl this week. This week? Girl, it's only Tuesday. Don't you have, like, a job to go to? Damn, son! Looks like I might be right about you after all. Look, I'm gonna cut right to the chase because time isn't exactly on our side here. Some seriously crazy shit is about to pop off and we need your help to stop it. A lot of girls are bang this week. Can you find someone else? As long as it somehow involves my genitalia. Yeah, I'm in. Of course it involves your genitalia. You think I'd be here if it didn't? To make a long story short, there are these two, like, evil space hookers that are about to be awoken <laughs> and if they don't get some wicked good tang they're probably gonna destroy the galaxy i don't know why the space hookers made really me laugh because earth has some of the finest babes in the universe next to tendricide you see part of my job as a love fairy is to find a worthy hero among all the pathetic virgins unfortunately we couldn't find one so you'll have to do instead just call me Link, I guess. It's an honor to be chosen for the most sacred duty. Yeah, I'll do it. Consider it done. I mean, how hard could it be? I've nailed a space chick before. I strongly advise you not to underestimate just how horny these muff monsters can be. I'll be honest with you, girl. The higher-ups are concerned about your lack of experience with threesomes. But I told them you're a quick learner. Besides, you did bag the fucking goddess of love. That's gotta count for something, right? So, put on some goddamn underwear and pack your bags. Our flight leaves first thing in the morning. Got it. Give me five minutes. I'll pack and get ready to now go. Well, that's what I like to hear. If only everybody would blindly do what I say without asking questions. Can you believe it, girlfriend? The old team back together again for another sexy adventure. This is the uncensored version for the person that's worried about it. I can't believe you humans have to get into big machines just to do something as simple as flying. I hate to say it, but if it wasn't for all the honey you guys generate, you'd be pretty useless. Remind you that it's a human that's about to save the galaxy. I appreciate the confidence, but don't overestimate yourself, alright? What we're asking you to pork here is unlike anything you've ever porked before. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably fill you in on the plan, huh? Me, my we are headed thing. to the beautiful tropical island of Ina de Puna. God damn it. Why, you may ask? Shh, I'm getting to that. You can ask questions when I'm done. You see, the Nymphogen, those are the space hookers, are on the verge of being awoken by their period. If that happens, you can kiss your sorry ass goodbye. So, we need to wake them up before that. There's a volcano on the island called Mount Nymphojaro. Yeah, I don't know who names this shit. If we can get that volcano to erupt, it should be enough to awaken the Nymphogen early. But, the only way to get that bitch to blow is to offer a sacrifice. A sacrifice of fairy wings. I'm sure you're wondering, what the hell are fairy wings? I thought I told you to stop asking questions! You ever hear the phrase, whenever a threesome is had, a love fairy gets her wings? Yeah, well, that's actually true. So we need to get you mixed up in some menage a trois. As much as I'd fucking love to be more involved, unfortunately, love fairies don't count. Besides, corporate said I have to stop fucking my clients. Can you believe that shit? <sighs> now look, locking down a three-way can be tricky. The best way to do it is by going on double dates. Not the lame kind of double date where it's two couples. The cool kind where it's you and two chicks. You'll need some fresh love fairy tech though. 
That crusty ass honeybee 4.0 is way out of date. So, da 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 da! Introducing the brand new Honeybee 6XL with threesome compatibility detection package. Go ahead, check it out. When you're done, you can close it by clicking anywhere off the honeybee. Where is my... You can also open and close the honeybee with a simple middle click or tap of the space bar. So, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much my entire spiel. Well, for now, at least. Any questions? Nope, that seems to be straightforward to me. Where did the nympho come from? You're asking the wrong fairy. That kind of intel is way above my pay grade. I thought I heard a familiar voice back here. Hey, stranger. Long time no see. No way. Isn't she that tight-ass flight attendant you used to bang? Oh, man. Can I book a flight or what? Small world, huh? I never thought I'd bump into you on one of my routes. By the way, uh, who were you talking to? Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm invisible. You must look like a crazy person back here. You should probably change the subject before it gets any more awkward. Hey, Lola. I didn't know you still worked for Tropical Airlines. Tropica Airlines. Yep, still here. I did have to reduce my hours, though, so I could focus on other things. Believe it or not, I started my own little fashion design business. I have a website and everything. It's still young, though, so I don't want to quit my day job just yet. Enough about me, though. Let's talk about you. What brings you out to Ina de Puna? You too, huh? I'm actually going to be enjoying a little time off on the island myself. I'm meeting up with an old friend of mine for a little vacay we've been planning forever. So, you want to join the Mile High Club? Damn. You naughty, naughty girl. What? I work hard. A girl's got to find some way to relieve a little stress, right? I'm going to pretend I have to go to the bathroom, but I'll leave the door unlocked. Wait a couple minutes so you don't raise any suspicion, okay? Sis! We haven't even landed yet, and you're already scoring ass? Maybe this chick isn't as uptight as I thought. This is actually a great opportunity for me to teach you about double dates. What do you say? Hey, good idea. Sure. All right. Well, let's head in there. We don't want to keep her waiting, do we? I've been so busy working, I don't even know how long it's been since I've Ugh, gotten it. I hate it. the art down there. Alright, I'll try to make this quick, because I know we all just want to get to the good part. You remember how dates work, right? Well, yeah. double dates are similar, with a few key differences. The goal is still the same. You want to fill up the affection meter before you run out of moves. You do that by matching three or more of these tokens, either whores... Oops. Like those three flirtation tokens over there. Go ahead and match those. You know. I keep doing that by mistake. Sorry, guys. Now, the biggest difference with double dates is, obviously, that there's two chicks. You gotta learn how to divide your time and attention between both girls. It can be a bit tricky. Right now, you're focused on me. To switch over to her, all you gotta do is click on her. Easy sleazy! Now that you're focused on her, all the matches you perform will go to her. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to find some talent tokens for you to match. Oh, in the bottom left-hand corner, the blue ones with the music notes on them. My fucking mouse. Hold on. Bigger matches, such as four or more in a row, will also give you more affection. 
Switch focus back over to me and I'll show you. You can use right click as a shortcut. Try it. There's a four of a kind romance token match somewhere on the grid. I'll let you find it. In case you forgot, romance tokens are the orange ones with the crescent shapes on them. The thing with bigger matches that you gotta watch out for is that they also cost more stamina. My stamina is looking pretty low right now, so let's find some stamina tokens to match. There, in the top right corner of the grid, match those stamina tokens, the white pentagon things. Why does it keep doing that? I need a new mouse. Or I might try switching the mouse pad and see if that helps. Woo! That's better. The last thing you want to happen is for a girl to run out of stamina. If that happens, she'll be completely exhausted until her stamina fully recovers. I'm sure you remember the other token types, but I'll give you a quick refresher just in case. The gold bells are called joy tokens. They give you extra moves. You can't beat that. The pink hearts are called passion tokens. Matching those increases a girl's passion. The higher her passion is, the more affection she'll give from affection token matches. Broken hearts work a bit differently on double dates, but you still want to avoid them at all costs. Matching broken hearts will instantly drain a girl's stamina and put her in a bad mood. That's not even the worst part of it either. You want to know the worst part? If both girls are angry or exhausted, you're done. Yup, you failed. The date's over. So don't do that, okay? Okay. Is that everything? Can I shut up now? Thank God. Oh, wait. Damn. Date gifts. Duh. How do I always forget about date gifts? I'm sure you didn't pack any, so I got you covered. Switch focus back over to her, will ya? Here. She might like this one. It's from Honey Corp's newest line of date plushies. As usual, she'll need some sentiment before you're able to give her the date gift. I'll let you find a good sentiment token match. You're looking for the teal colored teardrops. Perfect! That should be enough. You can give her the plushie now. Just. There you go. Honeycorp has tons of new and classic date gifts for sale. So try them all. And that's it. Well, those are most of the basics of double dating anyway. I know it's a lot to take in, but don't worry. You'll get the hang of it. Now finish up this date so we can do what we came here to do. Or rather, who we came here to do. <laughs> I'll make sure you can't fail this one. Just try not to screw it up too bad, okay? You can't tell me what to do. So we finally get to actually pay, play and talk. Oh, my mouse is gonna annoy the crap out of me. I don't know what- I'm gonna try switching my mouse pad later. After the stream. <laughs> Smart move. Hmm. Let's see. Can't do that one. Beautiful. Right. I wonder if you actually could technically screw this one up. Because that would be funny. Now you're 
getting it. You guys can at least see the light up from my mouse, I think. An actual one of you're the best UB chapter one. It would be funny. Again, I'm not playing this on Steam, so I have no idea what the achievements would be. Oh, my mouse. Sorry, guys. Alrighty then. Well, are we just gonna sit and catch up? Or are you gonna take that top off? Alright! Now it's time for the ahem bonus round! This is the part where you fug the girls. Unfortunately, I have to sit this one out or I'll have to go through abstinence training. Again. But the bonus round is pretty simple. Just forget everything I just taught you about double dates. And match tokens as fast as you can. It doesn't matter which ones, just keep matching. Try not to stop or slow down. Getting two girls to climax simultaneously requires some serious sexterity. Let's do this. And my mouse is gonna make this damn near impossible, isn't it? Yes, it is. Someone remind me, please, after stream to change my fucking mouse out. Oh, why mouse? Why do you do this to me? I'm gonna try changing the, uh, the pad out and see if maybe that fixes it. Oh my god. It's oh, you guys see the struggle I'm dealing with. It's terrible. It is. It's torture. I'm gonna make playing this so bad if I can't fix this. Hey guys, Lily here. Do you guys like? t-shirts and other merch well we have new ones in the shop we're working with ai art and other artists to work on some exclusive shirts look at this one of suka boy is she looking evil we have our lovely guinea pigs in a box that you could pick up or even nightmare suka here we of course have guinea thulu or cthulhu isn't he just the cutest we have all new stuff going and body pills going into retirement so come and pick them up if you want. You can also pick up our lovely comics, Issue 1. You can also check out our Patreon, Subscribestar, or OnlyFans if you want to get it that way. Alright guys, thanks for being awesome. Let's get back. Oh, shit. Was I way too loud? Fuck, I was trying to keep it down. Great work! I couldn't have boned her better myself. Well, maybe a little better. Well, that was certainly refreshing. <laughs> Hopefully nobody saw us walk out together. Oh, I saw a lot more than that. Perfect timing, too. Looks like we're about to begin our descent. I better go take my seat. You still have my number, right? Give me a ring so we can meet up on the island. Mwah. By the way, you're probably wondering why a bunch of fruit popped out of us after the date, huh? Well, out here in the tropics, honey takes a slightly different form than you're used to. Instead of that weird pink jelly stuff, it manifests as what we call honey seeds. Don't worry, you can still use them to buy gifts and other useful items from the honeybee. Oh, look, there it is. I can see the island. We're almost there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can practically taste all that delicious clam already. Ah, Ina de Puna, where the melons are juicy and the fish are plenty. 
Can you go five minutes without making a sex into window? What? That's literally the slogan for the island. It's right there on the sign behind you. Also, no. What the fuck is that? Hey, look over there. Isn't that your little sex buddy from home? How convenient is that? Uh, yo. Stalk much? <laughs> what in the fuck are you doing here? Kind of hard to explain me. What the fuck are you doing here? Yeah, I stalked you out here. What of it? Oh, cool. Nothing alarming about that. No, not creepy at all. Babe, if you wanted to fly out here with me, all you had to do was ask. If I'd have known you were coming, I wouldn't have had to explain my vibrator to security. Oh my god. I love her. You already have an in with this chick too. Now all we gotta do is convince her to have a three-way. Yeah, actually down for a three-way. I'm not gonna just have... I'm not just the same... I'm not just some sex toy you can use. I'm sure we can find a good use for that vibrator. That's true. Plenty of holes to fill, right? <laughs> Sis, where did you find this chick? I want one. I have some business stuff to take care of out here, but I should have plenty of free time too. I'm staying at... what was the name? Oh yeah, Lovely. Lovely Hotel. What a coincidence! That's exactly where we'll be staying too! Anyway, I should probably go find my luggage. Catch you later, sweet cheeks. Oh man! I am definitely sneaking into her room at night to get a whiff of that. Speaking of which, we should go check in before it gets too late. Come on, let's go! I just want to save. Where's the save button? They don't let you go into the options menu for a while, do they? Pretty sweet digs, huh? If you're gonna try to save the galaxy, you might as well do it in style. Oh, it did? Good evening. After Welcome this, we'll call it. Hotel. My name is Lailani. How may it be of service? I can think of a few ways this cutie pie could be of service to me. <laughs> Let's check it in, thank you. Well, um, <laughs> this is the front desk, so all I can do is help guests get checked in and out. But I don't remember seeing any more reservations in the system for tonight. Shit! I knew I forgot to do something. Uh, not a problem, though. I'm sure we can find the appropriate accommodations for you. What kind of room were you looking for? Take any room you have that's available. Give me the most expensive luxurious room you've got. Maybe you and I could share a room together? <laughs> I'm afraid that would be strictly against hotel policy. <laughs> I think. But I do have a great room for you on the second floor. It has a nice view and a big bed. I think you'll find it to be quite suitable. Excuse me briefly while I retrieve your keycard. Okay, you're all set. Here's your keycard. The room number is written on the back. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what we're here for. Good, thank you. The elevator is behind you to your right. Enjoy your stay and have a wonderful night. Yeah, I don't think we're banging that one right now. Where is the save? Oh, right there. So that's where we're going to leave it. Morning, we'll find out sunshine. more next time, guys. Thank you all for joining us. Don't forget to check out the Patreon, subscribe star, and OnlyFans. And those supporters watching right now, you're all very awesome.